All right, what's up? In the last video, we took a look at how to set up Google Analytics with Webflow, but we realized there was some funky stuff going on. And today I'm gonna to show you how to fix that, how to get around these form submissions that aren't tracking when you're using Google Analytics with Webflow. Hey there, Webbay. So I'm in the dashboard here. It's been probably 48 hours since I originally shot the, um, the video and posted this tweet asking people to come and spam my form. This is just to populate the analytics beast. This is a hungry beast that we have here. Anyways, so I'm in the report snapshot, but the very first thing I wanna do is here in library, you wanna make sure you have these life cycle um, reports. So I clicked, I'm in the report section and then you click library and I'm just gonna click these three dots here and publish this report. I find this to have the best data. So then we'll click engagement and look at events. Now events are what we're really interested because in it shows user activity. We can see we got a nice spike. Thank you to those who did come and spam me and see some of the events we got. Now we got 144 page views, we got some scroll, uh, I think first visit is a key one. We have 57 first visits and we have only 14 form submits. And if I go into my um, settings for the page here, we see I got 44 out of 50. Now I actually maxed out, this was 50, but there were some inappropriate ones. So shame on you, all you inappropriate people out there. But uh, you can see we got some great, uh, you know, test at test.com. Uh, Eddie from Pearl Jam, thank you. Um, what's his name, Eddie Vetter. Yeah, and uh, too much sauce is here, peanut butter at jelly, good luck on the video at Gmail, and Khaled would like to contact you about your car's extended warranty at gmail.com. So we already know, like we've gotten more than 14 of these form submissions and I've waited quite a while. So my theory here is that the web, the way the Webflow JavaScript is kind of refreshing that form and showing you that little, um, you know, like, hey, thanks for submitting your form. It's just basically Webflow is overriding the event that Google Analytics expects to see. So since we modified the form, we're sending it to a thank you page. If I come to designer here, we've modified this form such that, uh, let me da, 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 come into here. So we're redirecting to the thank you URL. So what we can do is actually process an event, a page view of the thank you endpoint. So what we'll do is come back into analytics here and we've gotten this engagement thing going, but I'm gonna click down in admin and let me zoom in one here. And then in admin, I'm gonna create an event. Now we can see these existing event populated. Uh, we needed about 24 hours for these to populate. And we're getting this page view event, 144, like I said. Let's go ahead, kind of ignore this data deleted. I just deleted something for purposes of this demo. But we'll click create event. And then we'll create a new event. And now we gave it a custom event name. And there are some names that are reserved. And there's kind of the convention is this, uh, what do you call it? Not not camel case, uh, I don't know, underscore case, whatever it's called, page view underscore thank you. And so this basically would, you could also call it like lead generated or something like that. And so how we're gonna specify this event is that when the event name equals to page view, which is a you know reserved Google Analytics event name, and we're also going to say when the page location contains, thank you, just like that because the end of our URL has this thank you, just like this. If I come into our thank you page and I come to the settings, I'll show you, this is the, this is where we're tracking users going. So we'll come out of that and we'll come back to Google Analytics. And so we're good. We've got that event kind of specification done. And then we're also gonna wanna make sure that this is checked, copy parameters from the source event. This is gonna give us all the information from that original page view event and make sure that we have it in this page view thank you event. So let's go ahead and create that event. So that's there, that's existing. Now, I kind of thought that they would populate down here, but it doesn't. So if you're expecting it to populate down here, you'll be waiting forever. And if we come to conversions now, this purchase is there by default, but let's create a new conversion event and you wanna give it the same event name that we gave to our custom event. So page view underscore thank underscore you. And we save that. And now it's saved here. And we wanna make sure that this is marked as a conversion such that in our reports, it's gonna show up in the conversions tab. Okay, so where did that thing just go? It just went completely away. Maybe because I unmarked it as conversion, it goes away. So let's bring it back in. Page view underscore thank you, just like that and save, okay, it's there, it's marked as a conversion, I'm not going to touch it. And I'm gonna actually refresh just to make sure it's still there. There's some, a little bit of weirdness going on here. Looks like it's still there, so I'm gonna assume that we're good to go. And I know I have six form submissions left still to go in my Google here. So let's go back to home and let's go ahead, actually before I even go, well, I'm gonna go to the website 
and I'm gonna get the URL, but remember we used that tag assistant companion in the last video? So let's go ahead and use that in this video as well. So I'm firing up tag assistant companion. I'm connected to tag assistant. If I click over here, we can see we're connected and in the config, we got that page view. Now let's go ahead and type uh, form submit at test.com and we'll submit that. And here we've landed on the thank you page. I wanna go back to the tag assistant here and we can see over on the left, we've got page view thank you is firing that event over to Google Analytics. So let's go back into Google Analytics now and let's go to reports and let's go to our real time. And we can see, yep, we've got one user, that's me, good old me. And down here, we've got our page view thank you event has fired as well as, as it's been tagged as a conversion. So that's what's key. Now with these conversions, you can run Google AdWords and Google Ads will add the whatever, you know, tracking that it adds to your URL and cookies there to make sure that your ads are running for this conversion event, reaching that page thank you, which means that we got a lead generated. So I hope this really helped you out. If you like this video, then YouTube thinks that you'll also like the video that it's gonna pop up right now and recommend. So be sure to watch that video and as always like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.